everyone welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I'm giving my kids for Easter this year if you don't already know I have a four-year-old son named Christopher and a two-year-old daughter named Adriana so if you have kids around the same age then hopefully this will give you some ideas for last minute gifts to add to your kiddos Easter baskets for this year I do live in Australia, so most of these things are from Kmart, Big W and Target. So if you do live around here as well, then these things are still available. So go ahead and check your local stores if you see something that you like. I do have another video that I did last year, which is also what is my, in my kids' Easter basket. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down in the description down below and I'll try and link it in the cards as well. Um, so there'll be some more ideas in those videos too. And obviously in that video, my kids were one year younger than they are this year. So if you have a little bit younger kids, then hopefully that video will give you some ideas as well. So let's get into it. I'll show you what Christopher will be getting first. Here's my four year old son. He'll be five in July. So technically he's four and a half now, which I can't believe. Um, and everything I got in their baskets, I did with intention. Um, I wanted to get them things that they will use and are practical things and not just things that are gonna be just played with once or twice and then you know forgotten about. Um, so I did want to make sure they were all intentional gifts and I did want to make sure they were matching in like fairness um, and similarities because they are both so young and they still tend to fight over their toys if one child has something the other child wants. Um, so I'd like to get two of things where I can. Obviously they are different ages so sometimes it's not appropriate but um, that's the idea about these baskets so a little bit of a side note um, to that. I'm going to show you, like I said, Christopher's first. I'm just going to pull everything out. I think it'll be easier that way. Um, and that way I can show you his actual basket. So let's do this. I'll just pull everything out and then I might show you how I stack everything back in. So these are the baskets both kids will be getting this year. I did get matching ones for them this year. And if you haven't seen my previous video, which is my Australian Easter haul, um, decor haul, then this featured in that as well. These are from Kmart and they were only $5, so really good value. They are made of wood, so very sturdy and strong. And I'm hoping they will use these for years to come. I have ordered their names to stick on the back of these so I can personalize them. I'm still waiting for them to get delivered. If they don't arrive before Easter, that's fine. Um, they can use these for next year anyways, and they won't know any different. They are still quite young. Um, but yeah, this is the basket I picked up this year for them. Just says Happy Easter on the front with the little bunny, which is so cute. And now I'm going to show you what's going to go inside. And then once I show you everything that both kids are getting, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack them in here. I'm also going to be showing you what um, Easter goodies they're going to get for the Easter hunt in the morning. So stick around until the end of the video so you can see that part as the well. The first thing Christopher's getting are two books. I like to put books in their Easter baskets. I think it's a great little gift to get and you can't go wrong with books. Um, the first one he's getting is this First Reader's Hansel and Gretel book. I love these books and we've been collecting um, quite a lot of these books over the last couple of years. These are only $2 from Big W, so a super, super good deal. And obviously a very classic book as well. because Everyone knows Hansel and Gretel um, and they've got all the other classics as well. So we've got quite a lot of them. Um, but this is one that he does not have. So I'll quickly show you some of the illustrations in this book. It's so bright and colorful inside as well. So I'm sure both kids will actually enjoy this one. So that's the first thing he's getting. The next book is this My Golden Egg book. And this is the little golden um, book. I used to actually collect these when I was a little girl. So I thought it would be really nice that the kids can start having it in their own collection. So I love that this is Easter themed. And these were $3 from BW. So also a really affordable um, and a great deal. The next thing I got him is this alphabet bingo game. Um, I wanted to put something educational in their little baskets as well this year because obviously, like I said, I want things that are practical and things that they are going to be using. So um, he is learning his letters at the moment. It will help encourage that learning as well. 
So I actually got this from Of Sale. Um, so if you are interested in getting the same game for your child, then you'll have to unfortunately get this one online if you want to get it from Of Sale as well. Um, you probably won't get it before Easter, unfortunately, but they may be available on other websites or even in your local store. So do check around. I don't know if there's a brand. Oh, yeah, it's from Junior Learning. If you want to look up the brand and the title of this game, then hopefully you can find it online. If I do find it myself, I'll link it down below as well for you guys. The next thing he's getting, I had to add a fun toy in here as well because it is Easter after all. Um, and I want them to get excited for what's in here. Um, so his fun toy that he's getting is the Rocky Paw Patrol toy. So if you didn't see my Christmas haul video of what I'm getting my kids for Christmas video, then you won't know that he actually got quite a lot of these um, Paw Patrol toys for Christmas. He didn't just get them from, from me and my husband. He also got them from grandparents and family and friends and things like that. But this was the only one he did not have. So I'm excited that he's finally going to be completing his full set now and he'll get Rocky. Um, so yeah, there's not much more to say about that one, but it's just the Rocky Paw Patrol toy like that. And I actually bought all of these during their black Friday sales last year. I've just been keeping this aside for this occasion. So that's a great tip for you mamas out there that are on budget or want to shop smart is to buy things when they are on sale that you know the kids are going to love and keep them aside for these sort of occasions and then you can pull them out when it's time to do so. The next thing he's getting is this two pack of little pigs. And you're probably wondering, why am I giving him little pigs for Easter? Um, so my mom, so his grandma, is getting him a little farm set for Easter. So I wanted him to have a couple of extra little animals to add to that farm set. I also wanted to buy them little farm animals anyways, just to play, even if he wasn't getting that farm set anyways. So I just think it's a great open-ended toy that he, him and his sister can play with together. Um, and they do have these in Kmart for $5 for a pack of, I think some of them come with two, some of them come with one, just depends on which one you pick. Um, but they've got the farm animals, they've got the ocean animals, I think the safari animals, dinosaurs, and a couple of different ranges. So these are great toys for imagination and role playing and things like that. So I want to start collecting these little animals for my kids. And Christopher actually picked the pigs out himself. I don't know whether you'll remember because he got this a couple of weeks or it was more than a couple of weeks, so probably like a month ago. Um, he actually picked this out in store. But he wanted the pigs out of everything else in the farm collection that, that was in store. He wanted the pigs. So that is what he's getting for Easter. The next thing he's getting for Easter is this Treasure X toy. So he got one of these in his Santa sack for Christmas um, last year. Um, and he really enjoyed opening this and discovering what was inside. It's actually a really cool toy. It's got several different components to it to get to the last treasure. Um, and he just really enjoyed this. And actually, so did Adriana. They actually really both enjoyed it, playing with it together. Um, and he wants to collect these now. So I picked another one up for him. I actually got this one from Kmart and it was on sale for $10. These are normally $15 um, regular price. So if you have a Kmart around you and a little boy, go and pick him one of these ones up. They're really cool toys and they are collectibles as well. Um, and they are on sale from Kmart at the moment. The next thing Christopher's getting is a pair of pajamas. And as you saw in this video, he loves Paw Patrol. So he is getting Paw Patrol pajamas. And this is what he is look like. So it just has Sleep Patrol and it's got three of the Paw Patrol characters. These are long sleeves because it is autumn here in Australia. So it is something warm for him to sleep in. So these are the pyjama sets he's getting. This was from, I think, Target and it was $16. And the bottoms are just blue and grey striped. And they've got the little Paw Patrol animals on their knees like that and it's got like a little blue cuff down the bottom so really nice pajamas and to go with that i got him these little fluffy warm slippers i don't know what animal this is supposed to be let me know in the comments if you know what animal this is um but these were just from kmart and i think they were around like six dollars i want to say um there's no price on these 
that I can see. No, there's no price on these. Sorry about that. But I believe they're around six dollars. Um, but these are nice, fleecy, and warm inside. So I'm sure these will keep his feet nice and warm during autumn and winter. So now I'm going to showing you what Easter treats he'll be getting this year as well. The first thing is this lint gold bunny. These are absolutely delicious. I love these chocolate um, bunnies and I'm sure the kids will love it too. It actually has a little um, bell around its neck as well. So I'm sure the kids will love these. Christopher actually requested for a bunny this year and not an egg. So that is what he's getting. The next thing that will be in his basket is this marshmallow bunny by Cadbury. These are just a nice, a fun treat and obviously appropriate for Easter because it is a little bunny. I hope you can see that there. The next thing he's getting is this Kinder Surprise egg. I'm sure you have seen these around a million times before, but these are a win in our house and they have a little surprise little toy inside as well. And the last Easter treat he'll be getting is this little Easter biscuit. These are actually from Kmart for only $1 each. I thought this was super, super cute and something different to add to his basket this year. I also got him this little treat bag. So I'm going to use this to put all of his little yummy treats that he's going to get in his Easter baskets in this little bag so it's nice and together. Um, and makes and it just makes it super cute. So now as I'm gonna well. move on to my daughter Adriana's basket. Like I said, she's two years old. Well, she's around two years and four months now. So um, let's dive into what she'll be getting this year. The first thing that she's getting are two books as well, just like her big brother. The first book she's getting is this first reader book. Um, and this one's the Rapunzel one. Like I said, they are collecting all of these classics. Um, and this is one that she does not have yet. So again, really beautiful books. These are only $2 each from Big W. So go ahead and snatch these up if you haven't already for your kids. They're a great collection and a really good read. The next book she's getting is a little golden book as well. And she's getting the bunny book that looks like this. And again, this was $3 from Big W. The next thing she's getting is her educational gift. And she is obsessed with Play-Doh. She'll play with it for hours at an end. So I thought this would be a winner for her. This is the Play-Doh Shape and Learn um, set here. So it focuses on different shapes and colors. Um, it's got little activity mats and um, accessories to go with it as well. So I thought this would be a really good educational plus a fun activity for her to do. The next toy thing that she's getting is this lorry doll. She absolutely loves any sort of dolls, but especially these little lorry dolls because it does fit in her wooden doll house that she got for Christmas. So this is the little ballerina one that she'll be getting for Easter this year. So I'm sure she'll really enjoy this and she already has a bunch of changeable clothes as well for these dolls. So again, I'm sure she will have a lot of fun playing with this little lorry doll. The next thing she's getting are these two pack Hatchimals. She has never had any Hatchimals before and either has my son actually, but I thought this would be a fun thing and appropriate for Easter as well, because obviously the little eggs and a little um, animal hatches out of them. So I thought this would be a cute thing for her to even start collecting if she likes them. Um, but she loves any sort of animal, so I thought this would be a really good win for her. And these were also, I believe, on sale from Kmart. I got this for $9. Um, I don't know if that's on sale. I think some of them were on sale, but I can't remember if this particular one was. But do definitely do check them out if your kids like Hatchimals or you think they might start like collecting them. Um, go ahead and check it out because I think this is a great Easter gift because it is appropriate as it is eggs. So just like her big brother, she'll be also getting some Paw Patrol pajamas as she also loves Paw Patrol. So this is the one um, that she will be getting. So this is the Sky character. This is definitely her favorite character out of all of them. Um, and again, this was $16. So that's what the top looks like. I really like it because it's got these little fluffy sleeves on the top. And then the bottoms look like this. So it's got the sky character all over them and it's pink with the little blue cuffs on the bottom. And to go with that, she's getting these little white bunny slippers. These are also from Kmart for that around the same price. I think they were $6 as well, just like her brother's. But really nice, fleecy, warm, 
um, slippers that she can wear during autumn and winter. And the farm animal that she picked out is a horse. She really gravitated towards this little brown horse here. There was a whole bunch, like I said, um, of this collection, but she just wanted a horse, so that is what she'll be getting. And just like her brother, she's getting the same treats and chocolate and things like that. Um, so she's also getting a little lint bunny. Also getting the little marshmallow bunny as well. She's getting a Kinder Surprise egg as well. This one has girl toys because it does have pink on the top like that. Um, and if you didn't notice, Christopher's one had blue. And she's also getting a little Easter biscuit and her, her one is decorated with pink. So super cute. Also got her the same Easter treat bag as well to put all those treats inside. And this year they're also going to be going to get a joint present only because it is in the one box. It's just the way it comes. And they're going to be getting this Paw Patrol paint rune um, plaster set. So in this pack, oh sorry, it's very glary. In this pack they get a Chase character and also a Sky character, which is actually their favorite characters from the Paw Patrol gang. So I just thought this would be a fun activity for them to do during the Easter holidays. Um, and so it comes with a pack of paints, two paint brushes, and obviously the two characters as well. Um, yeah, so they're going to share this because it does come in one pack. And I bought this from Kmart for only $8. So that is everything in my Easter baskets. I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage now of me putting it all together. And then I'm also going to be showing you what treats I'll be getting in the Easter hunt um, for the morning of Easter. So stay tuned until the end so you can see that part as well.
before I end the video, I just want to show you what I'll be putting in my kids' Easter hunt this year. So they're going to be using these Easter baskets. These were actually the baskets they had for last year. They're a little bit... Um, out of shape because they've been in the wardrobe but these will be fine for the easter hunt um, but these are the eggs that i'm going to be using for the easter hunt they are fillable eggs so you can actually put little treats inside which is super cute and exciting for the kids to pop open and see what little surprise they have inside the first thing is this double d sugar-free fruit jellies my kids love lollies just as much as chocolate so i thought i could switch it up a little bit and put some lollies in there um in the little eggs as well the next thing i got are these kinder cocoa bomb um chocolate balls i actually love eating these these are delicious um and they're just little individual um rolled up little ball chocolates and perfect for those fillable eggs the next thing i got are these malteser malteser's eggs um so yeah all individual wrapped which i like and really easy to fit into the little eggs the next thing i've got are the cream eggs from cadbury these are a must for easter i absolutely love these and these are probably my favorite easter eggs i would say when it comes to easter so i had to buy a pack of those for the kids as well and i'm sure i'll be snacking on these too so again these are individually wrapped and really perfect for the little fillable eggs Another little treat they might find in the Easter eggs are these malt Easter mini bunnies. Um, we just love Maltesers. I love the taste of that chocolate and you can't go wrong with these little bunnies for Easter. These are quite small. We've actually already opened this packet. Um, but that's the size of them. They, all, they are all individually wrapped and these will fit nicely in the little eggs as well. And I was going to stop there, but then I came across these little Paw Patrol chocolate um, eggs. I don't know if you can see that properly with the mesh around it. Um, but if you've seen throughout this video, they absolutely love Paw Patrol. So when I saw this, I had to pick one up for them. It's got all the characters on there and they're just little chocolate treats for the kids as well to put in their eggs. And any leftovers that won't fit in these two packets of eggs, I'm just going to put in this little jar that I got from Kmart today. It's got a little bunny on top and this was only $3. So I thought it would be super cute and can add to my um, decorations that I already have up. So I thought that was super cute. And the last thing I want to show you is just the Easter hunt pack that I got for the kids this year. I'm sure you've seen these around if you're from Australia and love Kmart just as much as I do. But this is, of course, from Kmart and it was only $4. Um, it's a nice big pack and I actually used this one last year and also hit with the kids. So this one contains seven Easter signs, five stacks, eight paw prints, which I love um, putting paw prints around the house eight plastic eggs so i'll get a couple of extra eggs there well not a couple i'll get eight <laughs> um four egg hunting bags which i don't need because the kids will be using those ones and two sticker sheets so really good so really good deal for four dollars so now i've got everything that we need for easter i'm super excited for it to be here already because i am officially prepared and i can't wait for the day so that is the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed and it's given you some ideas for easter gifts to put in your child's basket for this year still not too late if you're still trying to think of ideas just go out to your local store if you are in australia and pick one of these items up i'm sure they'll be hit with your child i hope everyone has a beautiful beautiful and fun and safe Easter with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video everyone thanks for watching bye